my name is Tanner Boomersbach, and I'm a medical student here at the Mayo Clinic. Uh, and I'm delighted to have the opportunity today to discuss our uh, review article for primary care physicians on alcohol use disorders in the geriatric population. My co-authors on the paper are Drs. Maria Lapid, Teresa Rummins, and Dr. Robert Morse, uh, all from the Department of Psychiatry here at Mayo. Geriatric alcohol use disorder is prevalent, but frequently undetected. As the, as the baby boomers uh, generation continues to age, we expect the prevalence of alcohol use disorders in this population to increase as well. Primary care physicians play uh, a significant and important role in the management of alcohol use disorders in this population, with the most critical step being detection. Patients do not often report their alcohol use to the physician, and physicians do not often know which, which questions to ask. Risk factors for the development of alcohol use disorders include being widowed, under, uh, having a significant family history, being divorced, or also undergoing significant financial strain. Geriatric patients with alcohol use disorders frequently present to the primary care clinic uh, with changes in cognitive impairment, memory, depression, delirium, dementia, or frequent falling. We therefore advocate for the routine screening of all geriatric patients in the primary care setting. Our paper provides a, a table of, of short and validated screening tools that can be used by physicians in the primary care setting. Uh, these tools are all validated and the primary care physician can choose which tool best suits them and their practice. A positive screen should trigger further evaluation and the overall goal is to get them plugged into proper medical management whether that be a consult to chemical dependence, um, uh, enrollment in a, in a treatment program, or, or further medical stabilization. A common notion that exists in the medical community is that geriatric patients are not as responsive to treatment as, as their younger counterparts. However, geriatric patients have been shown uh, to report rates of abstinence similar and comparable to that of their younger counterparts. We hope that this review will be a valuable and helpful tool for you in your practice. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about health care at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.